All right, I think I know that what Donald wrote, but I'm not sure if that means he will be like. Coming He's probably not going to be here later or not mm -hmm. going to be at all. So I think here's the one you were talking about. We <laughs> might be uh, beginning. Well, Just gonna go get uh, fill my glass first. And while he's doing that, I'm going to say that the uh, four-hour mark is my limit maximum. Because my grandmother is coming over mm -hmm. for lunch, and my mother is making a roast. And so I'm going to say, fuck you guys, I'm going to go eat roast. Yeah, that's, that's understandable. <laughs> How cruel and You know, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know I, I find objection to that. Now, if it was Beef Wellington, then I would uh, understand, but just a roast <laughs> if... <laughs> yeah, what the fuck, Zach? How, how could you not have expensive enough food to abandon us? Um, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely blasphemous. Remember when we said that English was uh, the language of the literal second-class citizen? <laughs> yes. I'm going to go enjoy me some beef. <laughs> <laughs> some cow. Uh, mm-hmm. Yes, that is the reason that in English, our uh, meat words are French, except for chicken, and mm -hmm. the animal words are uh, English, or English has it even, mm -hmm. except for chicken. I'm, I'm not actually sure why, but I'm guessing <laughs> uh, no wolves didn't like chicken. Mm -hmm. oh. Fuck the chickens. Hmm... I guess chicken is foul, but isn't it foul like mm. all bird? Also, a co comedic tidbit. My grandparents currently have a have a hen in a cage in their home. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Here. My mom bought oh, a couple nice. of them and I was like, but it ended up becoming too cold and she didn't want to stay at the place. So she was like, you know what? Ha have a have a hen. I I'm going to go to somewhere warmer. And she moved like 20 kilometers away to where her actual house is. Mm. <laughs> It, it just amuses mm. me. Mm. Is fowl chicken specifically or any kind of bird? Let's see. Fowl. Chicken has some know since he's kind of a cook. I, I think. think, off the top of my head, if I remember, it can be both depending upon um, <laughs> depending upon Google. the breed, I think, off the top of my head. Google agrees with you. It's either a bird of the form Galliformis, so basically hens, or it's a bird that's being hunted. Mm. Okay. Mm. I said I may have had coffee, but I have not had enough coffee <laughs> during on the weekend to have my brain ah, yes. actually want to work. Nice coffee engine you got there. <laughs> yeah. Why? Plays a barbarian, and that he's made a macro that just does as attacks for him. <laughs> it, it, my, my my brain works on 500 cc's of caffeine. Anything less, and it's only at a 10% efficiency. I mean, to be fair, there's also a case of the character sheet working very slow sometimes. So if that macro speeds things up, then I'm. <laughs> It's also probably mm -hmm. uh, solving a technical issue, not merely a mental one. <laughs> I, I, was, I, was just, I was just messing with him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know, I know. <clears throat> but you said a grease or a geese? A goose. Goose. I'm reminded of that yeah, Soviet one movie when they were like having fun of like <laughs> someone spelling, not non native English speakers, like spelling things like an oop. Like, you know, the a AWP yeah. from Counter-Strike? Oop! <laughs> yeah, no! Nope. Like, mm -hmm. A goose! A goose! <laughs> if if oh, goose is goose, goose is, then moose is meese. <laughs> <laughs> a horde of meese. <laughs> moose, Can you then. imagine that? It's a horde of meese. What do you mean, rats or something? A bunch of fucking meese <laughs> <laughs> run by! <laughs> It's, I, a stim I, it's a stampede of meese. I mean, that sounds I terrifying, also, but I don't think they're that big. I also love <laughs> how one of look of horror. Mm -hmm. I uh, also love how one of the natural predators of uh, moose are basically killer whales. 
But yeah, orcas are uh, not nice. Yeah. Mind you, the only orca deaths, like deaths attributed to orcas, are ones that are in captivity. Hmm. They don't fuck with us in the wild. Because mm -hmm. we're not tasty to them. And, you know, we're kind of big and scary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and but, uh, Julius, are you saying a moose is uh, smaller and less terrifying than you? Uh, probably. <laughs> no. <laughs> nope. Mm -hmm. nah, I know, I've seen I've... <laughs> so you just have blood of giants in them. Yeah, I know. I've seen. I've seen mees. Mees. But I was in Alaska. Yeah, when I was in Alaska. We had two guys actually get chased on top of an F-16 by a moose, <laughs> and the moose just looked at them on top of the wink. It's like, how you doing? Mm -hmm. I um. <laughs> Good evening. There was a car out here that hit a moose. The moose. Walked away from the accident. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Basically unharmed. Mm -hmm. I I saw was it was Alaska. A car hit a moose. Was on top of the moose. The moose got off and the car was flipped over. Mm -hmm. It was like a little uh, beetle or whatever, or like it was like little Fiat things. I, I can't remember. I'd like to remind everybody that this is the uh, size of a full-grown moose. Yeah, these things are f <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> I mean, I know that they, you need a lot of stopping power because from what little I played f with the Hunter Call of the Wild, like, you need like very high-level ammunition to like hunt them properly. <laughs> by, by the way, that, uh, that, that truck there, that's a Honda CRV. I've driven one of those, my family owns one. Yeah, <laughs> I know exactly how big that uh, truck is, and it's about the same height that I am. <laughs> Mind you, I'm six foot five. You're like, god damn. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right. So everyone finished their pre-session preparations. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I need 13 seconds. <laughs> I'm not gonna even ask why. <laughs> He's gotta finish up with a uh, bike pump. The what now? <laughs> I should tell you the actual reason why, and it's actually kind of hilarious. Because <laughs> of a cat? No. Because what I understood was this word. And I was like, well... <laughs> uh, he, um... <laughs> He's making an inside joke that, uh... Because my bike pump, which is at my apartment and not here, to pump the tire is a uh, certain pumping motion. That one ah. would do if one were to, uh, say, <coughs> uh, entertain themselves. It's because he went on camera the one day and he had the, the bike pump sitting there and he was doing it on camera. Ah, <laughs> so, un it, so it became a joke. No, it became a joke for you. No, Quirk still uses it. <laughs> Not nearly as often as you. You use it about once a day. She uses it maybe once every couple weeks. What were we talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about. <coughs> uh, I got the memory of a goldfish. I don't know what we were talking about. I think we're talking about mice? No, um... Yeah, I was saying something though, and now I don't exactly remember what it is. Oh yes, the 13 second thing. No, it's literally just something that I say to see if people uh, accede to my demands. Ah. Uh. I have a vague recollection I was uh, it was used on me once or twice and I'm like hmm oh yeah I've done it. I do it all the time yeah. I just remembered <laughs> <laughs> oh god I just remembered but something awful I did last night 
so you piss off a customer. No, um, so it was after the time that I'm normally, normally scheduled because I was just finishing up and there was a shit ton of glassware and only one server to clean it, so I was helping with that. But, uh, my boss had asked me if, uh, the other barbacks were still on the clock or not. And I said, specifically, these words exactly, fuck if I know. Uh huh. He didn't, like, respond at all. Like, I had said something bad, so whatever. I think he understood by that point I don't really care anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Holy crap. They actually count how many moose have been killed on this one, on the road in this area. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes. We should probably start, given that it's almost half an hour after, and we've mm. been here the entire time. Well, don't let Peter uh, find this video. Or do. Alright. I don't... Fuck <coughs> so, last time we left our heroes, our bunch of, bunch of eternal misfits, uh, we, you had quite an adventure, traveling towards the Rotten Claw tribe. Uh, mostly out of your, well, personal objective. Kinda wanting to see, following up on that uh, lead offered by the ghost captain. By the name of Jack Crowley, who mentioned something about... Mr. Crowley! Uh, Sorry. Yes, yes, I know. <laughs> <clears throat> who mentioned uh, something along the lines of destroying his spectral ship to finally free his tormented spirit. <clears throat> and after several uh, shenanigans, including uh, checking out the ruined city through a portal and surviving more or less uh, a hound, and then, well, one of you uh, more, having a vision... More or less surviving. <laughs> yeah, uh, com coming face to face with an entity that at the very least it called itself Grave was. And after you have arrived at your destination, finding a good vantage point to conduct uh, your observation, <coughs> you have sensibly this time decided to actually uh, call in reinforcements thanks to the fact that uh, Ulfgar was uh, sending message spells to Cheruk and you actually had method of contact <coughs> back with the leadership and essentially it was stated that you should have to wait <coughs> a day before uh, reinforcements will arrive as apart from the main cave where you will be assaulting uh, there are two other places uh, very uh, close by that have um, also quite a lot of uh, enemies. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> right, and of course. The <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Fuck! My throat. <coughs> and of course, the ring. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, that was a bad idea to open the chat. Uh, fuck. And of course, during that entire time, uh, Axrak was being uh, tied up very tightly <laughs> and uh, put back to not give away your position and <laughs> constantly screaming <laughs> profanities and battle cries because as immortals, you don't have to breathe. <laughs> Fuck, I need to take a drink. <coughs> oh god, my throat really hurts. I believe my words exactly last week were, uh, or before, I guess, I don't know. Whenever the hell last we played. Um, I continue to scream constantly until we attack, because I don't need to breathe. Ah, <coughs> oh, yes. So there's yes. one constant, like, Battle screen. <clears throat> yes, that. <clears throat> yeah, sometimes when I'm uh, laughing really hard, like my throat is <clears throat> dying on me. Oh, okay. <clears throat> we understand. But yeah, as a yes. 
Small reminder in regards to uh, enemies that you have identified, apart from the ones you have already faced, meaning uh, Draug, Pirates, <coughs> the Ghost Captain himself, that is actually not entirely visible, but you assume that he is present near his seat of power. Essentially, his necromantic anchor point. <coughs> but also... Um, Creatures like uh, Bricolacas, which is another type of undead, and Aberrations, meaning Chules. <coughs> <coughs> oh, yeah. We're going to need a lot of holy water. Uh, yeah, and sadly, as things are happening, uh, you won't be having the undead slaying party as backup because they are busy elsewhere. I'm getting slain. Mm-hmm. <coughs> and, um, and the barrows. But yeah, around... Still slain and dead, at least. <coughs> <coughs> oh. Sorry, what? Yeah, I think you I say, are they slaying and dead, at least? Or is our management kind of stuff? Is it going dead slaying party? We're going to have them hunt a dragon. Mm. <coughs> is it a dead dragon now? What the <laughs> fuck? Yeah, I uh, look, man. <laughs> we just send them at everything. You hope for the best. <laughs> yeah, and, and, unless unless the uh, fuck off big uh, ravager, meaning undead dragon, shows up, they mm-hmm. should should be fine. No, but well, this is just just a joke. <coughs> this management joke. Mm-hmm. Yes, I but it's it's, it's bad, like my knee jerk reaction that I'm. It's my like knee jerk reaction that I have to like answer and explain treating everything seriously because it's like very hard to tell through the internet if someone's joking or not. Mm. <coughs> Just also, assume I think... that I'm not being serious. <clears throat> ah, yes. Also, I feel like if there's anyone dying, it's probably our GM after that laugh, last laugh. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, some, somewhat. Fucking hell. <coughs> Give me a second. <sighs> okay, that's gonna be fucking rough for the rest of the <clears throat> session. Okay, uh, after I'd say maybe not an entire day, but around 10 to 12 hours during which, like, you, I imagine at least some of you, like, <clears throat> Secured their perimeter, made sure that no unexpected guests or surprising patrols or whatever the fuck might stumble upon you will surprise you. <coughs> and <coughs> Charyuk, uh, once more, you receive a message. Alright, laddie, for this to work, uh, I need to sky on your location. So if you feel something weird or unusual, like someone is observing you, uh, don't resist it. It will be easier to teleport to you. Understood. <coughs> Alright. And as you imagine, <coughs> Ulfgan is casting a, a scrying spell. Because essentially divination is one of his two schools that he has spells f- f- usable spells for that. Um, I imagine you decide to fail the saving throw. You do not resist the yes. spell. All right, I so, willingly fail. So now we want to expect you get a feeling that you are being observed. And to add a little bit of fluff, because I know normally that doesn't work that way, but considering the situation, you have like this feeling for a moment that you can almost, like the figure watching is like, Almost like a astral like at the bottom of the mountain, and the mountain is like looking <coughs> at you. <coughs> and then, after I'd say six to twelve seconds, uh, you get another message. After the the sensation of being watched fades away, that <coughs> uh, all right, laddie. Uh, they should be coming in pretty soon. This it. <coughs> Fuck me. Alright, I imagine you spread the word. 
Yep, we are holding position here. All right. And uh, and uh, yeah, if uh, if uh, you hear a lot of screaming, that's just Ashrak being Ashrak. Oh. <laughs> Somehow, even though the spell does not work that way, you just hear me. He just hears me screaming in the background. <laughs> yeah, I, I probably rule off uh, cool uh, rule of funny in this situation. <laughs> <clears throat> you can you can almost imagine the sheer exasperation and like the dwarf pinching the bridge of his nose. And. <sighs> Ah, whatever. I'm too. I'm too old for this. I need to work with what I have, not what I want. <clears throat> right. Good hunting, laddie. And let's hope the pace will not get skewered in the meantime. <clears throat> and as the Ulfgar's go uh, voice uh, fades away, suddenly. <coughs> I don't think there's like any. Actually, I need to like out of curiosity to check because I'm not sure if like teleport. If someone teleports in, is there any like visual or uh, audio um, element to it? I mean, as written, no. But that's not fun. Exactly. I'm, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just imagining the uh, team for uh, team for Stras, uh instant transmission. This just that. <clears throat> I mean, if nothing else, it's probably like a poof or like a sound of air being displaced. Uh, mm. Yeah, uh, you. what happens is that around in the middle of your formation, so away from the edges, so in the middle of your like perimeter that you have set up, <clears throat> yeah, there's like a sound of like paper being torn and air shifting, but then you also hear uh, ground... Mm, not like ground itself shaking, but like the solid ground like almost turns into quicksand. There's like this weird uh, vague feeling. Before from the ground, the teleporting creatures uh, pop out. Yeah, I thought that considering the scroll of teleportation was made by the dwarf. Yeah, them pumping off the ground. <coughs> yes. Makes sense. And uh, mm -hmm. those who arrive, uh, well, there's the new blood team. So, uh, you know, Hrook, uh, the party led by Goldbane. And I all... give Hrook a, uh, a handshake. Yeah, still alive, Birdie! Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, no, he, oh. he would say, like, still in one piece, Verdi? <coughs> still in half a piece. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Looks like you've all. Hmm? Yeah, I was like, at this point, it's like the conversation, like, like this, like, ribbing of, like, free, free enemy or, like, friendly rivalry is, like, rubbing between the, <coughs> the two of you. <coughs> Uh, yeah, so apart from them, and obviously as they're like coming in, they're like not talking too loudly, so they assume that the enemy might be relatively close, so they're like keeping their <laughs> heads down. <so laughs> it's like, I, re I recommend a, a taste of your screaming currently. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Goblin just, Goblin just chuckles. Huh. Okay, so we are in relatively safe position if the enemy didn't yes. hear that. <laughs> Uh, <coughs> he's been when pumping himself up for the fight. Mm. <laughs> uh, my personal theory that is that their ear has just rotted off for now. <laughs> it seemed to work so far. <coughs> well, yes, uh, being gifted certainly makes you not worry about certain things. Uh, I don't know if that's for the good, as this is said by us um, behind the new blood, <coughs> behind Ranger, uh, Bachmir Greenstalker uh, follows through through the uh, teleportation. 
I give him my uh, proper salute. How are you? At ease, at ease. So, uh, obviously, messages have limited ways of delivering information. What do we have? What are we looking at? Well, se uh, several hundreds of undead. Uh, uh, what, what were they called? Chules. Uh, remnants. <coughs> several types of uh, undead or undead sea creatures. Uh, we believe uh, uh, that in one of the caves, uh, a yes, uh, a uh, remnant of an <coughs> uh, uh, what was it called again? A uh, ghost ship. Uh, uh, yeah. Ghost pirate ship. Yeah, ghost ship. Yeah. Other, what you see is like not fully spectral ship, like there is like physical structure, but from your observations, you did see that there is like a negative necromantic energy giving giving the ship like slight uh, like sheen aura, and if there are like any holes or any damage, then it's filled with that almost visible uh, ghostly energy. Mm. A ghost, uh, well, a uh, uh, pirate ship brimming with negative energy, which uh, seems to be functioning as some form of necromantic focus. Uh, we have several necromancers <coughs> uh, uh, and uh, spellcasters uh, visible uh, uh, in front of the caves. I, uh, I uh, that's how I remember. I I, I believe uh, I, I can't remember uh, exactly what we found, but I'm just not <coughs> living here. I mean, sure, spellcasters are present, yes, but they are not like in front of the cavern, like on the front line. They are like mostly deeper inside. They they are undead, but they are being led by intelligent undead. Uh, oh, hello, Donut. Hello. I'm hello, here. welcome. You I'm made so, it. I'm so fucked off because I thought I'd be working from home today, but no, turns out I had to fucking head into work. Mm -hmm. That's no problem. We didn't start the fight yet, only now the reinforcements are coming and the head ranger is asking for information. What are you guys looking at? What the, f what the battle, ugh, what the battle is looking ahead? Uh, remind me, what, what battle again? <laughs> <coughs> in the ghost pirates in the uh, tentacle monsters. Oh, that time mm. we actually decided to be sensible. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm not even sure it's the same party as we started out with. Uh, <laughs> I mean... Okay, moving on. <laughs> not gonna touch on that. Yeah. <clears throat> I see. Well, uh, well, forgetting about uh, rank for a moment. After all, the guild is not like a formal military organization. At the very least, some of its members don't feel that way. <clears throat> but that's neither here nor there. Uh, you guys were here for a uh, while uh, do we have any plan of action or at the very least what are you gonna be doing i have a plan of attack attack <laughs> <coughs> no uh i don't know uh, uh the, the way uh i was imagining it is that uh, jerk would sneak around and do his best to pop up as many of the uh, said intelligent undead as he could no, he just uh looks at the others and uh, wonder what their uh, own strategies are yeah uh, was it what was it called again that video game dynasty what warriors yeah dynasty warriors what are our dynasty warrior strategies <laughs> mm -hmm. are usually like, consistent to 
run into a large number of mooks and rack up the kill count. <laughs> you know what? I've heard worse strategies. And, um... uh, especially with Samurai Warriors and how it has that like hyper attack that you just like kind of blitz across the map and just kind of juggle enemies in front of you so you can keep your combo counter up too. Ah, uh -huh, yes. <laughs> Well, if that is the case, I'm most definitely not show you because I'm not smart. Uh, also, like I one small note, apart from the gifted, uh, as for the name gifted, apart from Bahmir, there's also Captain Gunak. Even though he's more like a uh, sea captain, he, he can. Well, he's also an orc, so obviously he did seen some form of also land combat so he's also here to support you <coughs> but yeah Bachmir looking at this damn I would have loved to have uh, Lotteries and his crew to deal with these undead but well they have their own tasks and uh, I imagine you wouldn't have wanted to wait for uh, much longer before they would get get here. Shit. That being said, I probably wouldn't would mi would mind waiting even uh, longer. I am. Um, I would have preferred to have even more people, but we also need to keep the base secure. So Sally Vorver and. Uh, Shanghua stayed behind. Mm. Yes, <coughs> his, uh, yes, his yes, uh, his uh, loyalty to the uh, monastery, which I can understand. Oh wait, uh, we're talking about uh, the Shanghua, the Shadow Death. I thought, uh, thought we were talking about the Monk Gilder. Never mind that. Yeah, different, different character. <coughs> Yeah. Well. All right. Hi. Well, Guys. I suppose it's time we charge in then. Uh, Astrax been charging us power now for this entire day. Uh, I hope it's worth it. Um... No, no, we're going by Dragon Ball Z rules. I, st I need two more days of streaming. <laughs> yeah. Four more episodes. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Pop in a flashback or two as well. Um... <laughs> Getting beat up and getting a last-minute uh, flashback and power-up. Oh no, that's that's for later when I'm fighting the captain by myself, because you guys have sadly all passed away. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> never, mind the, never mind the fact that you're immortal and still fighting right next to me. Mm -hmm. That's just how it appears in uh, Azrax's mind, because Nero is too arrogant to fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I can still hear Nero's voice. I am right behind you. <laughs> Nero is not actually a member of the Eternal Wanderers. He's just literally too arrogant to die. <laughs> <laughs> like, clearly somebody must have given him immortality power. He got, like, stabbed in the head and didn't die. Like, so... I, somebody invited him, right? Right? <laughs> Dead is a peasant and there's no right touching me. Uh-huh. I mean, hold on, you are a thief, if not an orc. <laughs> Especially not an Warhammer orc. <coughs> nah, have you, seen, have you seen the way Death dresses? He's, he's obviously a commoner, and the commoners have no right uh, if, to touch me. Imagine what his hand has touched over the years. It's <laughs> like, no, no, I'm getting back out of here. All I have to say to that, Matt, is the one time I played, like, well, not one time, but one time I played an orc, like, in Skyrim, and I fought a bunch of bandits, and they used a bunch of arrows on me, so I like popped out into third person just to see where it hit me. And there's an arrow that had entered my head, through my forehead, and out the back of my skull. I mean, oh, good, good that, Skyrim. That, that, that's Skyrim. That's Elder Scrolls. Yes. That's Bethesda. So. Uh, I, I attribute that more to Orc than to Skyrim. Yeah. There's an arrow going literally through your brain. <laughs> <laughs> Me <Shouts> angry. angrily. <laughs> um, anyway, so what's our plan of attack? Uh, well, charging in, I believe. Um, uh, I was thinking... Do you guys charging while I... Hmm? 
did the reinforcements bring any siege weapons? <laughs> so what the? I am the siege weapon. We need to get me a catapult. <laughs> so that we can just catapult me into combat. Sadly, I like that idea. no. <laughs> I dig the idea. Yeah, I'm going to write that down. Or maybe not write it, but I will try to remember it. Remember it for the next time. <clears throat> but Damn, that's where we went wrong with our Wrath of the Righteous game. <laughs> <laughs> pull, pull Bahubali too. Just launch me at the launch me at the castle. I mean, uh, with the help of my uh, uh, breastplate, I can just shrink down into a uh, small sized item. Ah uh, yes, launch your white catapult. Show up. And... Where's the turtle bird man? Where's the? <laughs> Let me see. <clears throat> um, the way I look uh, at it, uh, Bachmir uh, says, if I had two teams of, uh, two additional teams of uh, immortals of the gifted with me, I would probably try to uh, stem the tide from the two other places while you take care of the main cave. Instead, from what you are telling me, they probably will be converging here either way. I think I can see not perfectly concealed, but closer firing position. And quite a lot of us have ranged weaponry. And if the enemies will be coming here to this main cave either way, I think while you, uh, martial spearheaded party that you are, uh, go in. Uh, we will cr we will create a uh, choke point and essentially cover your uh, bugs. Something tells me that this is just going to be a race between between us to see who gets the enemy leader. <laughs> in performance, it's just like <coughs> Gimli and Legolas, except the entire party. <laughs> You guys, I have a better plan. Look at chat. I mean, <laughs> you did wait and brought reinforcements, so they will. The danger of you being pincered, uh, like, won't be an issue, but yeah. Bakmi says either they will be getting slaughtered by us trying to get to you, or they will divert their attention towards uh, us. And while I am not a siege expert or, like, of any kind, I do I do know some basic tricks regarding uh, traps and defending a position. Uh, just, just send in the pig. Well, if we are if we are being if our allies here are going to propose to defend us, I say we cut the head off the snake. Go directly for the throats. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Success not too long. Uh, how do I say? They're just undead after all. I'm, I'm, I'm sure they have a, a glorious or, well, not so glorious master somewhere there. Uh, if we can fight our way there, uh, uh, cut, cut, I mean, gain glory by cutting off his head, then surely we shall be victorious on this day. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No? Mm -hmm. Just checking what uh, magic items I have. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if I had a right. horse sack, I would be doing that. Um... <laughs> so let me put you. If I only had a horse. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and yeah, to explain the reason why there's still there's no daylight mode, even if you have like waited, uh, like no matter in which area you have attacked, uh, when you're like getting closer towards the cave uh, itself. Uh, no matter of the time of the day, uh, inside this location, uh, yeah, there will be like the location itself will be quite uh, dark. So obviously, all the vision limitations will <coughs> apply. <coughs> and well, uh, there's one relatively narrow uh, path leading uh, through the like. Uh, Mountain wall, I'd say, but there's also like water-based uh, entrance. 
if you have uh, preferred. So yeah, the question is, do you go with the Cherix idea that he goes first trying to recon the... Like, go in uh, sneakily uh, first, locate primary uh, priority targets, or do you all charge in? Essentially, uh, what do you do? Well, glory, success looking at this party. Well, mm -hmm. uh, if you don't mind, I got some scouting to do. What the hell? I, w I will come with you, jerk. <sighs> Now I understand what you guys mean by dynamic lighting makes you lag, because holy hell. <laughs> Amusingly, um, running this on edge right now, this is the only time I'm not lagging. <laughs> I am running it on edge, but... <laughs> I, I, to... I drag my token and holy hell. Mind you, to be fair, this is quite a large map. Mm -hmm. This makes no sense that I'm not lagging, what the fuck. Yeah. It's inconsistent. It's mostly oh, well, non laggy right. for me, thankfully, but everyone else always seems to have problems, so what can I do? Uh, um, yeah. So far, I haven't come across a problem, but I know it will be, you know. Oh, oh, there we go. The, uh, go from the character sheet. <laughs> uh, That's when it started. It's oh, very so, weird. Uh, Cherka is going to activate his boots of spider climbing and uh, uh, head for the uh, uh, darkened ceiling of uh, the cavern. Now, we, we make <coughs> jokes about me being like a Warhammer orc, but I see myself more as like a Lord of the Rings orc. Or a... It's even worse. <laughs> uh, disciplined. <laughs> disciplined and angry, not barbaric and angry. That's that's the Urukai. Exactly. Uh, do it. I was going to have Nero go in as well under the pretense of uh, scouting, but uh, he's on the roof and I can't join him. <laughs> Please stare at the guy on the roof. <laughs> well, I, can, I can help you join him. Grabs Nero, throws him. Yeet! Mm. <laughs> Yeet! And with that, he's going to uh, roll a stealth check and uh, move forward. The Oka. To see what uh, he can uh, find. So, going to roll a stealth check. What do your Tengu eyes see? Well. Luckily, I have dark vision. E. You have. All oh, right, you have because I gave you the. Yeah, because of the item. Yeah. Right. Uh, nothing so far. Yeah. So he's going to continue on. I mean, I see something here. Up here, but you know. No. Oh. Nothing so far, you know. I mean, we're not just... twenty. These guys don't have a chance of spotting you. You know, uh... just for the sake of us having something to do, can we follow him with our tokens while he goes through here? Mm hmm. Holy shit, that was close. Oh god. Uh, yeah. Oh no! Yeah, sure. Just freeze the same place. So, yeah, I mean, guys, let's follow him with the tokens to see what the hell's going on here. Mm hmm. We're all back at the beach, but I want to see what's happening inside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, the, I mean, are you rolling a stealth check? No, no, no I'm just I... following you in spirit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but actually, mm -hmm. if Nero actually is there, right? Mm -hmm. Nero, do you actually like? I mean, I can... <laughs> go on. Do, do no. I want to? No, 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 we're following you in spirit. For okay, now. you're following mm -hmm. his spirit. Okay, so I yeah. mean. So far, these guys do not have a chance of spotting you, so you may continue. Uh, these guys, I mean, out of curiosity, like, I'm gonna see. Normally, like, fucking hell, that not those two first rolls, if anyone else. Uh, mm -hmm. it. It's not like they are, like, not careful, like, they're the uh, intelligence guiding them is not ter careful, but you are just. Uh, too, too, too good. 
Uh, so if you are not seeing hey. any name of the creature below the token, uh, yeah, I can see them. Yeah, tell me because I'm because I forgot before yeah. I copied them that you pretty much nailed most of the checks to identify these creatures. So mm -hmm. you know what they dun, are. Dun. Dun, dun, dun. Do do do. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Metal Gear. So, yeah, essentially, as for like, uh, you know, reconi reckoning deeper inside, the stench of this place uh, finally gets you. Or the general feeling of this place is that some serious shit went down here, some serious fucking carnage as the smell of decay and death is overwhelming almost like all encompassing like it seems to come from everywhere and there's like no place where you don't smell uh rotten decay you see remnants of like bodies very dried uh sprays of blood literally uh packs of uh, skulls and other uh bones the ship i mentioned from the description it is uh, this one as as you are like passing by through your recon uh well you are from the way i understood your background you mm, you are maybe not that much uh, you don't just maybe receive the same training but if you want you can roll me uh, uh not perception a knowledge arcana check knowledge. actually Uh, ten. It is magical. Yeah. I mean, obviously, if you trust the word of uh, Ghost Captain, that seemingly was sane after you have defeated him and before he disappeared in the moment of lucidity. <laughs> Fucking hell! I cannot spell that word. Um, the ship seems to be the like source of uh, power, but yeah, sadly you cannot like. You might think that, you know, destroying the ship will solve the problem, but, well, yeah, you just, uh, you just don't know. But yeah, and I'll, apart from the, like, the smell, the decay, the there's this feeling that the entire location, there's something bubbling underneath just waiting to be, like, poked. Because right now, it doesn't seem like like there's that many uh, enemies. Uh, but you do, n you do get a feeling that with the amount of carnage that happened here, and if this place feels like a place of power, of uh, necromantic nexus of energy, uh, yeah, the undead probably will come in... Uh, numbers but yeah uh, you may continue ten 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 so yeah obviously like the aquatic ghouls and the regular pirates also one more thing uh, actually if you want you can roll me a perception check to spot a certain detail regarding the Draugr pirates. Okay, with a, yeah, with a 26, uh, you are able to tell that uh, these are not the same ones that you have killed uh, during your encounter in that underground lake. Uh, they seem to be recently converted. Somehow you see a difference that obviously they are like decayed and whatnot, but they're their being indicates that yeah, the transition to undeafness was relatively uh, soon. So only like perhaps the ghost uh, captain only partially managed to like replenish his ranks. Or at the very least replenish the ranks of his uh, regular crew. Because obviously they also have like aquatic ghouls. Um, I think we found the rest of the airship. Ooh. No, there's, there's always a bigger fish. There's no airship. Sorry if I like spelled something wrong. 
No, the uh, airship crew that was uh, captured. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's that's fair. Yeah. Alright, you may continue. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yeah, you see to be coming to some sort of another storage um, area with the less um, intelligent fire, like they're like more. Although I don't think drugs are mindless, they are. <laughs> well, they have like a, 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 a average intelligence score, so. A anything above. Anything above three means they're not mindless. Yeah, they are. Okay, yeah, so the drugs... Oh, sorry, no. Ignore me, actually. If they're, uh... Oh. Yeah, if, if they have anything above three, it means they're not bestial. There we go. Yep. That's a better way to put it. Yeah, they have, like, above uh, three. These, uh, these creatures I do not see the uh, nameplates of. Uh, yeah, uh, they are drug uh, pirates, and the one near, next to the corridor leading upwards is a captain. Rather, the Draugr captain. Do they seem armed with uh, flintlocks or anything that could be uh, used as uh, a ranged weapon? Uh, that's... Uh, negative. Draugrs have... Actually, from the creatures that you see... Uh, I believe uh, the undeads uh, have only like uh, melee attacks. Mm. How poor for them. Alright, do you continue? Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna continue. Dun 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 All right. Uh, these two, they are also drug pirates, and specifically, you believe that this one is guarding a, a door. Mm. Don't mind me. Very spooky. Quite suspicious. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> oh, that, um... All right. Another pair of uh, drug pirates standing guard. Uh, I'm gonna say it is possible if you want to like investigate deeper in, but that actually like this. And if you actually tried, if you wanted to try and see, uh, investigate what's behind that uh, door. It is possible, but that would uh, require like a stealth check reroll. Sort of like another uh, stealth check. Ooh. For now, for now what we are keep for now we are keeping the check you made. But I'm gonna just say like if you like certain areas, so, like if you want to like recon them, uh, because of certain circumstances, they are like slightly more risky. So uh, you would like, have to reroll. What do you guys think? I think we have enough information for now. We're gonna have to fight our way through all of this anyway. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm pretty much in agreement with that. Uh. Yeah. For now, you do not see uh, the ghost captain anywhere. All right. <laughs> Just gonna go all the way back. I'm gonna put this back. No. No. Okay, so I'm gonna move. Uh, oh, okay. Actually, fuck that. I activated the. Yeah, the explorer mode. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. So I mentioned uh, all the. Uh, 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 things I've seen. Information. Mm -hmm. At the first, uh, at the first room, 
after the hallway. He's going to take a stick and uh, basically draw an outline of uh, the uh, the areas he's been in and to basically point out the, what the kind of opposition they're going to see. At the first room, we're going to see a, a lot of aquatic ghouls, um, one of uh, the, what are they called again? Acrylops? Bricolacas. Bricolacas. And the uh, 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 pirate ship is uh, harbored right beside that, with a lot of uh, newly created zombies on that. Uh, we're going to see uh, some jewels in the water. And some mm -hmm. brine zombies uh, uh, on the harbor. After that, we're going to see a uh, room full of draugars. Along with a draugar captain. Mm -hmm. After that... We have a room with four Draugr sailors and uh, uh, that's all I've seen so far. There was a, a smaller room with a lot of uh, weapons and tools in it, uh, but I felt that uh, I should re uh, return and report back. Sorry, I missed one thing because one token did not have a name. Because, uh, actually, no, you would know. Uh, but on the ship, there is also like one, uh, you imagine, undead spellcaster. Alright. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, the token will Are have a get... name visible, so. Alright, so he's probably going to be uh, my focus uh, in that battle. He's not the only one, but there's like one on the ship. And yeah. you probably will be able to... Okay, so that's this. Uh, oh, he, he's skeletal. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the basically name of a NPC monster, but yeah, that's like an undead, uh, undead mage. Hmm. All yep. right. Let's set it aside. Yeah. Hmm. So you can roll uh, your initiative. Can I be moved over there real quick? Uh, 